Hello, I'm Meredith Gurley Johnson and I'm Executive Director of the UGA Alumni Association. I'm proud to kick off the 2020 40 Under 40 celebration. Even though the current pandemic is keeping us from celebrating together in person this year, it will not deter us from showing just how proud we are of this year's class. The University of Georgia tackles the most pressing issues of our time by inspiring those who will lead, discover, and serve because we are on a relentless pursuit to improve our world. Today, we celebrate that commitment by recognizing 40 of our outstanding alumni under the age of 40, leading the pack in their industries and communities. Nominated by your peers, you truly represent our best and brightest Bulldogs. You are finding creative solutions to world problems, growing economies, and strengthening communities you serve. This is where commitment meets creativity, conservation, public health, justice, and much more. Being a Bulldog is about more than a memory or a degree. It's about a deep-rooted community over 300,000 strong. As the birthplace of public higher education in America, we instill a tenacity that gives our graduates an advantage in the working world. Our family reunions embody the spirit of UGA. We connect the dreamers and the doers. We celebrate the risk takers and the culture shapers. We create better communities around the world. And we are empowering the next breed of Bulldogs to continue that tradition. Today is about a moment to inspire each other in our shared commitment, broaden networks and connect with old friends. And although we can't all be together physically, Bulldogs never bark alone. We are ringing the bell from Athens to the West Coast. We are in New York and North Carolina, Decatur and DC, Brookhaven and Boone, Williamstown and Wyoming, but we all call the same place home. And now, more than ever, the world needs Bulldogs who will lead, discover, and serve. Thank you for your relentless commitment to your alma mater, your communities, and to each other. We hope you're enjoying this celebration with your friends and family today, and we'll see you soon, Bulldogs. Congratulations. On behalf of the University of Georgia, congratulations to the 40 Under 40 class of 2020. In a very short time after graduation, you have distinguished yourselves in a variety of ways. But connecting this outstanding class is one common thread. Each of you is an ambassador for the University of Georgia, wherever you go and whatever you do. It is an important responsibility, one which you have clearly carried out in exceptional fashion. This is the 10th anniversary of the 40 Under 40 program, which means you are joining an esteemed group of 360 40 Under 40 alumni who have received this distinction before you. There will be opportunities to connect with this special network of current and past 40 Under 40 honorees in the months ahead. I look forward to sharing in the many accomplishments still to come in your bright futures. And as you move forward in your lives and careers, I hope each of you will keep in mind the transformative power of the world-class education you received at the University of Georgia. I know it is a priority for you, as it is for me, to make sure this same academic experience is available to students at UGA in the future. With the support and generosity of our alumni and friends, the University of Georgia will continue to reach new heights of excellence. Because with every scholarship we fund, we are changing the course of a student's life. With every state-of-the-art facility we build, we are setting a new standard in higher education and research. With every endowed faculty position we create, we are that much closer to a discovery that will save lives around the world. As 40 under 40 honorees, you represent the past, present, and future of this great university. And we are so very proud of you. Congratulations once again. Now we're excited to share with you words and wisdom from some of the 40 under 40 alumni who have come before you. 
Congratulations. Congratulations, class of 2020. Congratulations and welcome. Congratulations on being selected to this year's class of 40 under 40. We're excited for you. One of the best pieces of advice I ever got was in high school. Happiness is only real when shared. When get to know one another, you're a great resource for each other for years to come. That the opportunity is what you make of it. This opportunity will open doors that you never thought could be open. We all know that nothing worth having, nothing worth achieving, comes easy. Things continue to change, and the reason that you're sitting there is because you continue to fight. And I challenge you that as you use your leadership, as you go about your day, as you continue to progress, that you build bridges, that you find ways to connect to someone different. Life's greatest joys and pleasures are not really about what we achieve. It's about how we achieve them and who we work with to achieve those common goals. Never lose sight of your goals and never let anybody tell you that you can't be the best person that you are. Don't be afraid to reinvent yourself. Even though you won this great award, your career is far from over. Become an entrepreneur, do something new, learn something new. There are so many opportunities ahead of you. Find ways to uplift, that you find ways to make your leadership even more than what it is today. You know, we get so caught up in our busy lives with family obligations, work obligations. Sometimes we forget to take a few moments for self-reflection of ourself. So with that, I say to you, take a few moments every day, enjoy the journey of life and live it to the fullest. Life, it's all a dance. One step forward and two steps back. There are dips and twirls and lifts and stumbles. So no matter what, keep dancing. Enjoy the crescendos. Pull your loved ones close on the slow bits. Dance with the wallflowers. Always thank your partners and try to move through it all gracefully and with your own style always. I'd like to tell you a story about my time at Ranger School. It was in the last week and if I didn't pass this graded assignment on my next mission, I wouldn't be able to see family for Thanksgiving. Our next mission was on helicopters. Everyone was dejected. I knew morale was very low and it'd be hard to pass. When we got to altitude, the crew chief turned around and started grabbing pizzas and handing them out to everyone. You could hear screams over the road wash, and the guy next to me was taking slices of pizza and put them in his pocket. Needless to say, we landed, executed mission properly. I graduated on time and saw family for the holidays. But remember those times that someone gave you a pizza. Someone did something nice for you that helped you accomplish your goals, and that will keep you humble. We look forward to how you take this moment and change the world in even more impactful ways than you've already done. I'm so proud of each and every single one of you. Enjoy the ride, and congratulations once again. Congratulations again, and go dogs. Hi, I'm Brian Deal, president of the UGA Alumni Association. I'd first like to congratulate all of the outstanding alumni in this year's class of 40 Under 40. We are so incredibly proud to call you Bulldogs. We have honorees from so many different backgrounds and professional capacities. This year's class includes six grads working in healthcare, five working in politics, three in active military or veterans, and nine working in the nonprofit space. We also have an Olympic gold medalist and a Paralympic medalist. Also in this year's class is an honoree whose company was recognized by Oprah in her own magazine. We have many honorees bravely working on the front lines, helping our country battle this COVID pandemic. There are two Taekwondo black belts among this year's class, and there are people who work on cloning animals, a tiger and a chicken. This is one remarkable and diverse group. As is tradition, we've invited four of our student alumni council members to announce this year's honorees in groups of 10. Without further ado, let's recognize each outstanding member of the 2020 class of 40 Under 40. My name is Autumn Presley and I'm studying Spanish. After graduation, my dream job is to develop language translation software. Ashish Advani, class of 2007, is from Atlanta, Georgia. Ashish has led InFarmD as CEO since its inception in 2018. He regularly spends weekends volunteering for brown bag sessions with pharmacy students to help patients in the community better understand the risks and benefits of their medications. He's hosted these service learning events consistently for the 10 years he has been a pharmacist. Thomas D. Busey, class of 2008, is from Marietta, Georgia. 
Thomas is the executive director of the Georgia Retail Association, where he develops and executes the legislative agenda on a variety of issue areas such as pharmacy, alcohol, taxation, criminal justice, as well as general business issues. He was also selected to serve on Governor Kemp's Coronavirus Task Force during the COVID-19 pandemic. Jenny Barton Bowen, class of 2004, is from Atlanta, Georgia. She works as an epidemiologist for the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, as well as a lieutenant commander in the U.S. Public Health Service, where she has served our country in uniform for the past seven years, responding to public health crises and advancing health for all Americans. Eddie Bernard Bradford Jr., class of 2004, is from Atlanta, Georgia. He works as a tax principal for Frazier & Dieter LLC, where he is responsible for $1 million in client revenues represented by real estate partnerships, closely held businesses, corporations, and high net worth individuals. He also proudly serves on the board of the Genesis Innovation Academy, a charter school in the community where he grew up whose core purpose is to provide a premium educational experience to kids who would not have otherwise been afforded access. Lainey Bradshaw, triple dog in the classes of 2007 and 2011, is from Athens, Georgia. She is the founder and CEO of Navy Education, LLC, which presents a brand new way to think about classroom and state assessment systems. She also works as a UGA professor in the Mary Frances Early College of Education, where she received tenure at the age of 32. Jeffrey Brown, class of 2005, is from Decatur, Georgia. He is the Vice President of Development and Marketing for Partnership Against Domestic Violence. In addition to being the primary fundraiser for the organization, he also has the privilege of telling the stories of the women who, after enduring years of abuse, went from victims to victors. Gary D. Bush, class of 2003, is from Gainesville, Georgia. He is a general surgeon at Longstreet Clinic, a fully integrated, multi-specialty medical group owned and managed by physicians. In addition to treating patients, he also serves on the governing board and as the chairman for the surgery department. John D. Cates, triple dog in the classes of 2007, 2011, and 2012, is from Augusta, Georgia. He is the COO of Mabum Real Estate, which he has helped grow into the largest real estate company in the city. He also plays a pivotal role in the revitalization of Augusta's downtown corridor and in shaping the future of the city. Stacy A. Chavis, class of 2019, is from Brookhaven, Georgia. She serves as Managing Director of Campaigns Academy, where she works with clients on public policy, strategy, and fundraising at the intersection of politics, public policy, and advocacy. She also serves as Public Policy Chair for United Way of Greater Atlanta, where she led the team in lobbying the Georgia Legislature to pass Rachel's Law and Safe Harbor Constitutional Amendment. Rennie Curran, class of 2017, is from Atlanta, Georgia. After living out his dreams of playing football at UGA and in the NFL and CFL, he now works as a keynote speaker, author, and personal development coach. He is also CEO of Game Changer LLC, where his mission is to use his gifts, talents, resources, and relationships to help everyone around him to reach their full potential. I'm Tej Patel, and I'm a senior studying Management Information Systems with an emphasis in Data Analytics. UJ has taught me more lessons than I can count, but the one that stuck with me the most was to never give up without trying. Chuck Upstration, class of 2004, is from Auburn, Georgia. Chuck is a state representative representing part of Gwinnett County since 2013. He serves as the chairman of the Judiciary Non-Civil Committee and a member of the Appropriations, Rules, Insurance, Judiciary, Juvenile Justice, and Defense and Veterans Affairs Committee. He is also a partner with the law firm McGarity and Efstration LLC in Buford, Georgia. Wells Ellenberg, class of 2013, is from Washington, D.C. He serves as the Governmental Affairs Manager for Southern Company, where he works with policymakers in Congress, the administration, and a variety of federal agencies to advance sound energy policy solutions that benefit their customers, communities, and the nation. He also serves in a number of volunteer capacities, including as president-elect of the Georgia State Society of Washington, D.C., and the legislative director of the American Legion Boys Nation Program. Claire Erlacher-Reed, class of 2008, is from Orlando, Florida. 
She is currently a senior veterinarian for SeaWorld Florida, where she is living out her lifelong dream with a career in conservation, rescue, and rehabilitation of endangered and threatened aquatic species. She is one of four veterinarians responsible for the health of 26,000 animals at SeaWorld in Orlando. Jason Faircloth, class of 2005, is from Carrollton, Georgia. He is the Vice President of Sales for National Accounts at Southwire Company. He was recently promoted from the Director of Business Development, a role in which he worked to enhance the company's commercial viability and capabilities. Sion Faru, class of 2007, is from New York City. She currently serves as the Assistant Professor of Emergency Medicine at Columbia University Medical Center. A former volunteer medic in the Iraq War, she is no stranger to crisis. She is also an emergency room doctor and worked selflessly during the COVID-19 pandemic to save lives, drawing on her wartime experiences. Houston A. Gangs, double dog in the class of 2017, is from Athens, Georgia. He serves as a state representative in the Georgia General Assembly. As a member of the State House, he's focused on getting things done for his community, including the Athens area and UGA. He's helped pass seven bills through the House, with nearly all receiving unanimous, bipartisan support. Several of his bills have received statewide attention and support. Adam Gobin, triple dog in the classes of 2006 and 2008, is from Atlanta, Georgia. He serves as the Assistant Vice President at Wellstar Health System, a hospital healthcare system in Atlanta with 2,000 physicians and 11 hospital healthcare systems. Adam attributes his quick acceleration in the healthcare field to his experiences at UGA, serving as the President of the Caribbean Student Association, a resident assistant at Oglethorpe House, and an orientation leader. All of these experiences help build discipline and develop leadership skills. Leslie Hale, class of 2013, is from Athens, Georgia. She serves as the executive director for Books for Keeps. Under her leadership, Books for Keeps has surpassed half a million books given away to Georgia students, teachers, and fellow nonprofits. They have now expanded to 20 elementary schools with three full-time employees and more than 1,200 volunteers annually. Their research-based program distributes more than 100,000 books annually through a free book fair set up in the school media centers. Mamie Marie Harper, class of 2009, is from Atlanta, Georgia. She is the executive director and founder of Carrie's Closet of Georgia. She organizes volunteers, collects clothing donations, writes grants, establishes community connections, connects foster children and families with free clothing, and is the direct link to many organizations to help provide clothing and other necessities for the foster child population. Jack Hartpence, class of 2015, is from Jackson Hole, Wyoming. After experiencing a tragic car accident, Jack reassessed his career focus and launched Powwater, where he now serves as CEO. Through Powwater, he has made an impact on many communities across the world. They have expanded clean water access to over 45,000 school children in Kenya, established a microfinance UV LED water factory in Bangladesh, and helped filter out lethal arsenic contaminants in the water runoff in the Himalayas. My name is Jaquarius Raglan, and I'm studying Health Promotion and African American Studies. One of the greatest lessons I've learned at UGA is to be intentional in creating relationships with individuals and actually take the time to understand their stories. Jasmine Severino Hernandez, a double dog in the class of 2013, is from Brookhaven, Georgia. She is an associate attorney at Chamberlain Herdelica at Law. Jasmine was the first Latina Spanish speaking estate and tax attorney in Georgia. She volunteers as a pro bono attorney with the Georgia Property Heirs Center, assisting with probate administration for Spanish speaking clients and the Atlanta Volunteer Association, helping low income clients with basic estate planning needs. Eric Jones Jr., a double dog in the class of 2012, is from New York City. He is an entertainment producer for ABC News and Good Morning America. He is a three-time Emmy Award-winning producer at Good Morning America, the number one morning show in the country. He has produced for some of the biggest names in entertainment, including Denzel Washington, Elton John, and Oprah Winfrey. He also devotes his time and passion to his community by serving as the talent lead for CultureCon, an annual ideas conference celebrating the impact that creatives of color make on society. Brittany DeJarnette Kissner, class of 2007, is from Aiken, South Carolina. She is the co-founder and chairman of the Kevin and Brittany Kissner Foundation, where she aims to make a difference in the lives of children in their community. Her background as a speech language pathologist and years working in early intervention with underprivileged and special needs children helped shape her mission to support organizations that impact children's health, education, and fitness. 
In three years, she grew the foundation's worth from $70,000 to $1.3 million and has given almost $400,000 in grants to support programming in the community. Samantha Arsenault Livingstone, a double dog in the classes of 2005 and 2008, is from Williamstown, Massachusetts. She is an Olympic gold medalist in swimming and CEO of Livingstone High Performance. She founded Livingstone in response to the mental health crisis impacting adolescents around the globe, specifically those in the athletic arena. LHP provides support to organizations, teams, and individuals to elevate mental health and improve performance. Cheryl L. Meyer, double dog in the class of 2004, is from Atlanta, Georgia. She serves as the medical director at Emory Special Coagulation Laboratory at the Emory University School of Medicine where she helps care for patients with bleeding and clotting problems. She is also currently on Emory's COVID-19 anticoagulation working group, devoted to understanding and caring for those patients with clotting and bleeding complications. Jay McCracken, class of 2005, is from Atlanta, Georgia. He currently serves as a neurosurgical oncologist at Piedmont Atlanta Hospital's Brain Tumor Center, where he provides exceptional and innovative care to patients who suffer from both benign and malignant brain pituitary and skull-based tumors. He was selected as one of Atlanta's preferred providers in the 2019 Modern Luxury Medicine and Doctors Magazine. Ashley McMaster, class of 2006, is from Washington, D.C. She serves as the Vice President of Membership and Development at America's Essential Hospitals, the leading association and champion for hospitals and health systems dedicated to high quality care for all, including the vulnerable. She also supports various local organizations, including WAMU and the local NPR affiliate in Washington, DC, where she is a Leadership Circle member. Erin Mordecai, class of 2007, is from Stanford, California, she currently serves as an assistant professor at Stanford University, where she researches how major human-mediated global changes like climate change, land use change, and global movement affect infectious diseases in humans and wildlife. In addition to conducting world-class research, she teaches undergraduates and graduate students and trains the next generation of scientists, educators, and communicators. Kiana C. Morris, class of 2014, is from Atlanta, Georgia. She currently serves as the Associate Director for Policy at the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention. As the COVID-19 pandemic swept the world, work at the CDC was critical for the livelihood of our nation. She leads policy development and implementation, strategic partnerships, cross-cutting communications, and serves as a Senior Advisor to the Office of the Science Director. On a weekly basis, she manages the COVID-19 updates from their office including key metrics for the Deputy Director for Public Health Science and Surveillance. David G. Quintero, class of 2006, currently serves in the United States Navy as Deputy Director for Dental Specialists and Periodontists. Over the past 10 years, he has served globally in four deployed areas, serving on board the USS Bataan. His clinic was named the number one ship Navy-wide for dental readiness. As a periodontist, he was recognized as number one of 41 military dentists in Japan and number two of 51 periodontists Navy-wide, earning two Navy and Marine Corps Commendation Medals and numerous other military awards. I'm Margaret Turner and I'm majoring in Entertainment and Media Studies and Film Studies. I'm graduating in December with the dream of becoming a creative producer for the independent film market. I want to be a storyteller and I can't wait to hit the ground running after graduation. Jamelia Outlaw Smith, class of 2003, is from Atlanta, Georgia. She currently serves as the Director of Diversity and Inclusion at Cox Enterprises, where she works each day to create an inclusive culture that empowers employees to be their authentic selves. On any given day, she can be found spending time on a number of projects, ranging from providing general consultative support to business leaders to conducting unconscious bias training. She also serves on the board of the King Springs Elementary School Foundation and helped to raise over $86,000 for their annual campaign. Matt Stevens, a double dog in the classes of 2003 and 2014, lives in Athens, Georgia. Matt has committed his professional life to making serving simple. As the Vice President of Strategic Impact at Creature Comforts, 
he helped mobilize over $1.5 million and 908 volunteer hours across several impact programs. Their approach has led nine other breweries to adopt similar community impact strategies. He leads the flagship community impact program at Creature Comfort's Get Comfortable which stems from the observation that while there is an infinite list of worthy causes in our community, discomfort emerges whenever any need goes unmet. Micaiah Thurmond, class of 2012, currently serves as WRAL-TV's weekend morning anchor in Raleigh, North Carolina, where she wakes up more than a million viewers starting at six o'clock in the morning. Before being promoted to the anchor desk, she won two Associated Press Awards, received two Emmy nominations, and reported for CBS Evening News and NBC's Today Show. Her passion also expands to serving youth in her community through the Youth Thrive Board of Directors. The nonprofit organizes resources and collaborative partners which work together to serve young people. Charles T. Tuggle III, class of 2005, is from New Orleans, Louisiana. He currently serves as Assistant Professor of Clinical Surgery at the Louisiana State University Health Sciences Center, where he focuses on hand, plastic, and reconstructive surgery. He also has an interest in clinical research with 24 peer-reviewed publications and over a thousand citations. He was recently selected for the American Society for Surgery of the Hands Young Leaders Program. Jared Wallace, class of 2019, is from Watkinsville, Georgia. After losing his leg in 2010 at age 20, he chose not to let a circumstance outside of his control stop him from achieving his dreams. With the previous goal of becoming an Olympic runner, he began a new quest in the Paralympics. In the years following, he won a gold medal in the 100-meter dash at the Parapan American Games, made his first Paralympic Games in London, England, and won three World Championship titles, breaking the world record four times. The high cost of running prosthetics and lack of coverage from insurance companies led him to start a nonprofit in 2012, with the goal to help individuals gain access to running devices. Lauren K. Ward, a triple dog in the classes of 2007, 2012, and 2017, is from Boone, North Carolina. She currently serves as General Counsel and Director of Regulatory Affairs for Forest Landowners Association. From the halls of Congress to the Piney Woods, the overarching purpose of her work is to sustain America's private forests by sustaining America's private forest landowners. She finds passion, meaning, and integrity in her work as sustaining our forests provides clean air, clean water, wildlife habitat, and economic opportunities not just for landowners, but for the American public and beyond. Franklin West, class of 2008, is from Athens, Georgia. He currently serves as an associate professor in the field of regenerative medicine at the University of Georgia. He is a world-renowned expert in the field of regenerative medicine and has received numerous honors and awards for his transformative research in the development of treatments for stroke and traumatic brain injury. Amanda Dalton Wilbanks, class of 2009, is from Gainesville, Georgia. She founded Southern Baked Pie Company out of her home in 2012. Now she has four retail locations in Alpharetta, Buckhead, Vinings, and Gainesville, a 10,000 square foot production facility, a growing wholesale division, and an e-commerce shipping division. Her products and pies are sold by retail giants such as William Sonoma, Dean and DeLuca, and Garden and Gun Mercantile. Matthew Wilson, a double dog in the classes of 2006 and 2014, is from Brookhaven, Georgia. In 2018, he became only the second openly gay man to ever be elected to the Georgia General Assembly. Since taking office, he has become one of the leading voices on progressive issues like common sense gun safety, redistricting reform, LGBTQ rights, and consumer protections. When not in session, he is a practicing trial lawyer. Despite being in practice for only six years, he has recovered over $18.8 million for his clients, leading to being named one of the top young trial lawyers in the state by the Georgia Trial Lawyers Association. Tasha Dunnigan Wright, class of 2005, is from Douglasville, Georgia. She is the co-founder of the Wright Stuff Chicks, a t-shirt apparel company for teachers. 
In an effort to bring joy to over 90 million teachers around the world, she uses her background in education and passion for design to produce shirts that are colorful and encouraging. She oversees the day-to-day -day operations of their e-commerce business warehouse, where employees package and send out over 500 orders each day. The success of the company has enabled her to start several nonprofit arms of the business, all to help teachers in need. Congratulations to this extraordinary group. Thank you for all you do to represent the Bulldog Nation so well. We know you'll continue to engage with your alma mater and inspire the next generation of Bulldogs. Thanks for watching with us today. Congrats again and go dogs.